Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the weapons of hot dogs, horseshoes and hand grenades. And today we're going to take a look at this assault rifle. So uh, this is the VZ58V. I suddenly got very unsure. Assault rifle. Yes, VZ58V. Let's get the P next to it. The P is the standard. The V is the one with the folding stock, so as you can see, boop, folding stock, and you can fold it out. Otherwise, it is exactly identical to the VZ58P. So uh, really, for more information on the VZ58, I recommend you check out my video on the VZ58P. But in short, this is a Czechoslovakian uh, assault rifle chambered in 762 by 39 Full auto, semi auto, unit side, short stroke uh, gas, gas system, uh, magazine fed, 30 rounds in the magazine. There's also, as you can see, variants with 10 and 20 round magazines. And in the case of this one, a collapsing, collapsing stock as well. Let's put it on semi. And of course, just like the P, it locks open on empty. So, why a folding stock? Well, easy. For paratrooper use, as well as vehicle use. It's a lot more compact having this, than this. So if you're jumping off of an airplane with your paratroop you can have this a lot easier on you or if you're sitting in a vehicle you won't have a stock going everywhere hitting your friend in the teeth or whatever of course don't expect to shoot although although you can do it Samuel, as you can see with the stock folded is perfectly fine. It's a bit worse. I had a few outliers But if I do full auto It's a lot worse. So first with it folded out Let's make sure we have a full auto 30 rounds 762 by 39 has quite a lot of recoil but of course uh, now, it's gonna be way worse. Well, I did say it was gonna be well worse, but I got more points. One missed. You you obviously saw that the recoil was worse, if you just compare objective recoil. Like that, that's pretty bad. But, uh. It bounces about a lot more. <laughs> but consistently, I keep on getting higher score with full auto without the stock. Alright then. Can I manually put this in the chamber? No, I can't. Oh well. Some auto is best anyways. So, uh, yeah, that really covers the VZ58V. Uh, the collapsing stock version of the VZ58. That's really the only difference. I do hope you all enjoyed watching this video on the VZ58V. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.